I am so scared and excited. It starts in eight minutes. And they got their, their pre-show going. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go to their YouTube. I am so Unless it craps out on me. See, this is why we start early. Got people telling me pre orders are up, they're not up. <laughs> got Spotify up there. Gotta keep up with the game facts. See if they uh, got the right. Information for me. Cause if I can't get one on Amazon, I don't know if I'll be able to get to um, get the game stop in time tomorrow. Five minutes, like over a year of rumors all coming to a head on one night. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I hope they don't fuck this up. Wow, where did they get all those people from? Like, this must be it. Um, 
I would guess one of their hands-on events in Japan, but I didn't know that they had one today. I wonder if it's in Kyoto, because that's where Nintendo is um, based. I uh, studied there for a year, and like I went to the Nintendo headquarters. I couldn't get in, of course, because like nobody can get in unless you are like actual developer. Um, but yeah, I didn't hear anything about this because I would have loved to been able to go. I am so excited. Oh my god. One minute. <laughs> Come on stream, 45 seconds. A little behind. It's 18 seconds on the TV. Oh, they're all businessmen. <laughs> Sorry. Joy-Con grip and two Joy-Con controllers, as well as the Pro Controller. Nintendo Switch is a console that can be played while connected to your television, 
but it is also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Nintendo Switch is a brand new kind of home gaming system that offers a wide diversity of play styles. In today's presentation, we intend to provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and software. March 3rd. I'd like to begin by introducing the Nintendo Switch launch date, suggested retail price, and online services. Nintendo Switch will release simultaneously on March 3rd, 2017 in Japan, the US, Canada, major European countries, Hong Kong, and other territories. This is the suggested retail price for Nintendo Switch. In Japan, it will be 29,980 yen. People are going to flip for that price. In North America, it will be $299.99. For the price in Europe, please check with your local retailer. Next, I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. With Nintendo Switch, you will of course be able to enjoy online multiplayer gaming. Okay. And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you will be able to invite friends to play online, set play appointments, and chat with friends while enjoying online matches and compatible games, all from your smart device. Users will be able to try out Nintendo Switch online services for free during a trial period after launch. Then it will become a paid service beginning in the fall of 2017. We will provide additional details on this paid service and its features on our homepage at a later date. And I have an additional piece of information. With our past systems, like Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, oh we designed them using region locking, which limited play to software sold in the same region that the hardware was purchased. I would love to buy it right now. Just put it up on the store. But with Nintendo Switch, we have revised our approach and decided that in general we will not apply region locking to Nintendo Switch software. Here, I would like to switch over to the man responsible for all software development for Nintendo Switch and mobile applications, Mr. Shinya Takahashi. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shinya Takahashi, and I lead all Nintendo software development. Nintendo Switch has inherited DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released to date. The Nintendo Entertainment System included two controllers in the base system. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. Super NES added the X and Y buttons and the L and R buttons to enhance the fun. Nintendo 64 offered the world's first analog control stick, and it introduced a rumbling controller with the development of the Rumble Pack. We put a handle on Nintendo GameCube so it could be carried around. Even at that time, we were considering a home game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Nintendo DS added a touchscreen. With the Wii Remote, motion control became possible. See, touchscreen. And the Wii U gamepad enabled you to play games off the TV. And now, Nintendo Switch has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA, and we have packed each and every one of these features into the system. Nintendo is constantly pursuing new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles to the world. And the new entertainment we will present in 2017 is Nintendo Switch. HDMI comes out.
Nintendo Switch は、Nintendo、Switch is a video game system for the home. テレビにつないでゲームをプレイします。Play games. テレビの前から離れてプレイするときに、Play away from the TV, Nintendo Switch を外から取り外しますスイッチを外す。When you attach the left and right Joy Con controllers, you can continue playing anywhere. Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch has been designed to be a home console gaming system that gives you the freedom to change your playstyle. Next, allow me to introduce the play styles Nintendo Switch will offer. TV mode. TV mode. Play games on the TV in typical video game style. Table mode. Tabletop mode. Stand the Nintendo Switch console up with its kickstand. And play using the Joy-Con. You can now play video games in front of a screen with others wherever you like, even away from the TV. Handheld mode. Attach the left and right Joy-Con to the system. You can take it with you and play indoors, outdoors, or anywhere you like. And what do you think of handing a Joy-Con to a friend or family member and sharing the joy right then and there? Battery life will vary by game, but it will range from two and a half hours to six and a half hours. And you will be able to play while charging the system using the included AC adapter and USB certified portable batteries. Wow. The screen uses a capacitive touch panel. You can connect over Wi Fi for multiplayer battles. And up to eight Nintendo Switch systems can be connected for local wireless multiplayer gaming. What do you think? With its three play styles, Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. And what makes this possible are the Joy-Con controllers. To tell you more about the new types of play that Joy-Con will enable, and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to general development producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I am Nintendo Switch general development producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. It's great to be here. Controllers are very important when it comes to video games, right? And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo Switch Joy Con are like. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. These are the Joy-Con set in the Joy-Con grip. This is the basic style when playing on the TV. Now, let me remove the Joy-Con. These are the Joy-Con. Okay. So step up from the Vita. There is a left and a right Joy-Con. Each Joy-Con has an analog stick, and each stick can also be pressed like a button. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons, and beneath them is the Home button. It's this house-shaped mark. There is an NFC Reader Writer that can read and write Amiibo data as well. And please look at the square button on this Joy-Con. This is the capture button for capturing screenshots of your gameplay. In the future, it will be able to capture video as well. You will be able to share the screens you capture with friends over social media. 
And each Joy-Con includes accelerometer and gyro sensors, making independent left and right motion control like this possible. And take a look right here. There are two buttons in the rail that connects the Joy-Con to the Nintendo Switch console. These are L and R buttons. <laughs> because of this design, each Joy-Con can be used as a fully functioning individual controller. You can hand a Joy-Con to the person next to you in many two-player games. We call this sharing the joy. So, Nintendo Switch comes with two controllers right from the start. And when you play with these Joy-Con, they fit in the palm of your hand, just right, like this. And they feel very natural. Sorry for the delay. You can release the tension from your shoulders and relax while you play. That's all for my Joy-Con introduction. But, we still have many things to share about the Joy-Con. Wow. <laughs> we have prepared Joy-Con color variations, neon blue and neon red. And use it like a bigger controller. And this is the Joy-Con strap. It is a wrist strap you can slide onto the rail like this. And it has prominent L and R buttons for firm pressing. It's great for games that have you swinging your hands, attaching to your wrist so you won't drop it. And it makes the Joy-Con easier to grip. This is the type that will come with your Nintendo Switch system, but there will also be other colors sold separately. The right Joy-Con also has a motion IR camera that can sense the shape, motion, and distance of objects in front of it. It's right here. For example, it can tell the difference between rock, paper, and scissors. And it can tell how far away the hand that threw it is. This will make unique new control styles possible. What's this? It feels like something shaking in a glass. The Joy-Con can convey to you the feeling of ice cubes colliding in a cup. You can even tell... One... Two... Three... The number of ice cubes in the glass. And you can feel water filling the glass. This new sense of realism is produced by the precision of the new HD rumble. With these new sensing and vibration technologies, the Joy-Con itself boasts an expressiveness that invites the player to pick up the controller. The Joy-Con offers more than just traditional video game controls. It invites everyone to a new world of entertainment. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con, one that everyone can play together and one with depth, challenge, and replayability. First, let's switch to the game everyone can play together.
<laughs> Boy, it's a it's like that Kirby game. Hello everyone, I am Koichi Kawamoto, the producer of 1-2-Switch. I am also the general hardware director for Nintendo Switch itself. 1-2-Switch lets you enjoy the expressiveness of the Joy-Con HD Rumbo that was just introduced, but at the same time, it's a brand new kind of game, one that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't been seen before. Your typical video game has you playing while looking at some kind of screen, right? Hmm. But 1-2-Switch can be played without looking at any screen. So then, where exactly do you look? In the eyes of your opponents. You look directly into the eyes of your opponent to play the game. When will your opponent move? How will they move? Are they just faking? You look into their eyes to read their next move, and then you get to see them do something unexpected. In other words, 1-2-Switch isn't a game you play facing a screen. It is a game that is primarily played through face-to-face -face interaction. So you can bring Nintendo Switch to parties and after parties, indoors or outdoors, any place people gather or meet, and you simply, one, stand Nintendo Switch up, two, grab the two Joy-Con, three, hand one to a friend. And just like that, with these three steps, the place you're in becomes the game world and everyone is ready for fun. We're creating 1-2-Switch to be a staple for parties and to become an icebreaker for all kinds of fun communication. 1-2-Switch features fun for everyone gameplay made possible by the Joy-Con and it releases March 3rd alongside Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to it. Thank you very much. That was 1-2-Switch, the game everyone can play together. Next, let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy-Con. A new gameplay experience is born. Let's switch to it. <laughs> Why is he so little?
Hello, everyone. I'm Kosuke Yabuki. I'm the producer of the Nintendo Switch game, ARMS. Today, I'd like to introduce you all to ARMS. ARMS is a fighting sports game that uses extendable arms to battle. It's like boxing, where you hit your opponent with punches, but it's also like shooting, where you aim and fire at distant opponents. To play arms, you hold one Joy-Con in each hand in a thumbs-up pose. The Joy-Con senses your motions, so when you punch, your character also punches. When you twist your fist, your punch curves. With this, you can pursue a distant enemy. You move your character by tilting the Joy-Con. And by combining dashes and jumps, you can perform a variety of actions. Because ARMS uses physical controls, anyone can pick it up and play right away. But we've made it so that as you play more, you'll uncover higher-level techniques and strategies. Now, I'd like to show you a battle between two of our team members. Here are some of the characters who appear in the game, Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. It's a very fast and active fighting game. They're trading punches back and forth. You can guard in this game, but they're practically battling without guarding at all right now. Oh dear, Springman is on the ropes. Oh, but here's Springman with a special attack. Oh, Springman won. As you saw, the most appealing part of arms is battling. You can battle alone against the computer, and you can play split screen against a friend, as you just saw. You can also bring your Nintendo Switch systems together to battle. And of course, we're preparing online battles as well. The extendable arm fight game, ARMS, will release this spring. Thank you very much. What did you think? ARMS marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the Joy-Con controls can bring a new feel to even head-to-head -head fighting games that demand a high level of strategy and tactics. I hope you'll look forward to it. Next, let's switch to this.
Good afternoon, everyone. I am the diligent researcher at the Squid Research Lab who has spent day and night researching the mysterious squid creatures that can take on human form. I've been researching a new variety of squid that was discovered recently, and today I'm here to announce the fruits of my labor. It has been about two years since I first discovered the squid and it seems there have been many changes to the squid world in that time. Turf War is their four-on-four team-based battles where the two teams compete to spray the ground with ink and cover the most turf. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed and the fashions and weapons used have also evolved. Here you see the latest piece of technology. This weapon set is called the Splat Dooleys. Not only do these dual-wielded weapons let you shoot ink from each hand, they also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed to outmaneuver your opponents. It is a fearsome weapon in the hands of one who has mastered it. And it appears the, sp the special weapons which can be activated after spraying enough ground with ink are all brand new. Surely with the introduction of new weapons, all new special weapons and new battle stages, we will see the emergence of new battle strategies. I expect our research will continue to keep us busy. Allow me to report briefly on controls. Of course, you can use the Joy-Con controllers, but you can also play using the Pro Controller. You can play on a TV screen, and you can also play in handheld mode. And of course, in either mode, you can use gyro controls to aim your ink. You press the X button to view the map. And to do a super jump, you press the button assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. And you can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle friends face to face. That is all from the Squid Research Lab. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. Oh, it's so terrible. Splatoon 2 is planned for launch this summer. And again, this time, there will be stage and weapon updates after launch. And there are also plans to hold ongoing in-game events. I am very excited to once again enjoy those exciting times with everyone all around the world. Splatoon 2 still has many elements that we have yet to uncover. The Squid Research Lab will continue to share new details as we discover them. Thank you for your time today. What squid do you think? This brand new version of Splatoon arrives this summer. It should make for some hot matches. Next, let's switch to this.
Hello, everyone. Sorry for my appearance. I am Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. While I am the overall producer for the Nintendo Switch hardware, I simultaneously have a hand in the newest Mario game, Super Mario Odyssey. This is the first time since Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this for you to run around in. The theme of Mario this time is a journey to an unknown world, and Mario has jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. I said unknown, but perhaps you notice some landscapes that look familiar from the real world. And at the end of the video, perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, and right here, right there. This mysterious cap, in particular, offers action that can only be experienced on Nintendo Switch. This cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years since we made Super Mario 64, I have been on a long, long journey together with Mario. And we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch, with the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. I'll be very happy when you can all join me in departing on this new Mario journey on Nintendo Switch. We plan to release Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later this year. What? Since the release is still a ways out, you won't be able to play the game today. So I hope to offer you a chance to try it out at another time. So please wait a little longer. Thank you very much.俺は君のために楽園に行く。その気持ちをお前に閉じ込められてたまるか。New monolith soft game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a Nado.
Look at this. Fire Emblem? Koli Tecmo? Oh, Fire Emblem Warriors. So far. Somehow. But I'm very happy. What you just saw was Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Koei Tecmo's latest game, Fire Emblem Warriors. Next, I'd like to introduce our third party partners. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, and there are currently over 50 companies working on games. And there are already over 80 games in development. So today, we'd like to introduce just a few of them. Square Enix has already announced that they are preparing Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch in Japan. But there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for Nintendo Switch. Now take a look at this. Didn't say bye. What does it mean to play your role? In a vast world of adventure, the places you go, Looks okay. the deeds you do, the heroes whose tales what you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, which celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. Development has only just begun, but they were kind enough to prepare this video for us today. And the other title is a brand new RPG from Square Enix. Its world boasts a unique graphic style and sense of scale. Please look forward to additional information in the future. Now, 
Let's hear from some of the developers working on new games for Nintendo Switch. To start, let's switch over to this individual. Hello, everyone. I am Toshihiro Nagoshi from Sega. Sega sees a tremendous amount of appeal in Nintendo Switch, and we intend to be present on the platform. And similarly, I, as an individual creator, sense a new kind of appeal with this game hardware. We will, cons we will consider new games for Nintendo Switch, and we'll present them soon. This new hardware is taking on new challenge and has a lot of appealing points. And I would like to uh, take advantage of this new concept and create uh, an, accept an interesting game. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Nagoshi-san. Continuing on, let's switch to this person. Hi, I'm Todd Howard here at Bethesda Game Studios, and we're excited to announce that yes, Skyrim is coming to the Nintendo Switch. We love to make games and worlds that you can get lost in, that you can make your own, and that you never want to put down. Well, now you don't have to. Now you can play Skyrim wherever you want and take it on your own adventures. But what's really exciting is for all of us at Bethesda to finally work with Nintendo. You look at all they've done for video games over the decades. They've brought so much innovation and fun to all of us, and they're doing it again. The Switch is both no, classically support. Nintendo, yet something all new, and we want to thank them for letting us be a part of it. <laughs> thank you, todd -san. Next, let's switch to this person. Yeah! Hey. Oh, that didn't go very well. Hi, everyone. I'm Suda51 from Grasshopper. So, today, I'd like to start. Um, I've, I've been invited to come to this event, and I'd like to talk about uh, one of the games that I worked on. Uh, do, do you all remember the one guy from Santa Destroy who was born out of a tag team between Marvelous and Grasshopper? That's right, Travis Touchdown. He'll be making his return on Nintendo Switch. Uh, could you show the illustration, please? So this star will be coming onto Nintendo Switch. The title hasn't been decided yet, but uh, just about a year ago, I've been going to some events, some gaming events in Japan, such as Big Summit, and I've been discussing with, exchanging ideas with uh, the indie game community, and we've been discussing about uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch console, and I've heard that it's uh, I've heard that it's an easier platform to create games for, um, especially for indie uh, developers. And so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a gaming development process. So, this one game that I'm working on right now uh, will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that it's easy for uh, indie developers to create a game. And so, we will have a game that will have a fusion of death matches and strong styling, sort of heavily involved, uh, heavily influenced by pro wrestling. And I'd love to see Travis running around um, in a game for Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was Grasshopper Suda 51 signing. Thank you, Suda-san. Next, we 
switch to this guest. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today representing the passionate and talented team at Electronic Arts. For me, to be on this stage is like a dream come true. Electronic Arts no for as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platforms and amazing culture of creativity. Ew, EA. So I'm much sorry. so that when my first born son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. So today, we are extremely excited to announce that the world's most popular sports game will be coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. EA Sports FIFA on Nintendo Switch will be the most immersive, social, authentic sports game ever created for Nintendo players. Nintendo no user ni totte wa EA Sports FIFA wa Nintendo Switch ban ima made motto mo botsu niu teki motto mo social motto mo it will deliver the FIFA experience custom built for Nintendo Switch so you can play anywhere, play with anyone, and play how you want to play. FIFA no taiken o Switch sen yo ni kai hats shite, so ko de, doko demo, dare to demo, do no play style demo asoberi yon ni narimas. If you're at the park, at your friend's house, or on vacation, you can always stay connected to the biggest matches. And you'll be able to play and get on the pitch with your favorite players and teams from the world's best leagues in iconic stadiums from around the world, all with the unmatched authenticity and depth that FIFA is known for. We'll have much more to say and show in the coming months as we bring the world's game to Nintendo Switch in 2017. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this podcast. Thank you very much to Patrick and all of our guests. We are very excited for Sky. Rim and FIFA, and are very excited to see what kind of new games Naguchi san and Suda san create. And with that, I'd like to bring my portion of the presentation to an end. Thank you.
What did you think? As you just saw, we were preparing to offer a rich assortment of games, both from Nintendo and a number of third-party partners. Today, you heard from some of these developers, but there are still many others working hard inside Nintendo to develop original game content. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique characteristics of the Nintendo Switch hardware and the Joy-Con controllers. Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. The Nintendo Switch system will include the Nintendo Switch console, a left and a right Joy-Con, Joy-Con wrist straps, the Joy-Con grip, the Nintendo Switch dock, an HDMI cable, and an AC adapter. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. There will be two versions, one model with gray Joy-Con controllers and another model with one neon blue and one neon red Joy-Con. Both versions will be the same suggested retail price. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation and more details will be available on our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation ends. But first, I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their messages with their fans watching around the globe. Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Kimishima. I'm Satoru Shibata of Nintendo of Europe. Good morning, everybody in Europe. I would like to thank you for getting up so early to watch. I'm so excited for you to finally know all about Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch has a very unique appeal, as you saw today. And I look forward to you all getting to try it out soon. Right now, hands-on events are being prepared where we've invited European media to play Nintendo Switch for the first time. Within the next few hours, these events will kick off in Frankfurt, Paris, and London. I know that lots of you will be wondering when you can get your hands-on Nintendo Switch to try it out. In the coming months, we will hold more of these events to find out when and where you can have your own experience with Nintendo Switch. Keep an eye out for announcements on our official website, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I am sure that I will join some of the events, so I hope to see you very soon. Now I will hand you over to Reggie in New York. Thanks for watching and happy gaming. Thanks, Shibata-san, and hi to everyone watching in the Americas. It's the midnight hour here in New York. The streets are quiet, but there's definitely something in the air. You can't see it, but the atmosphere is crackling with posts and tweets and messages all about Nintendo Switch. We're here getting ready to show off Nintendo Switch to a small group tomorrow, but you may get your own chance to play well before launch, because Nintendo Switch will be on display on six separate Sundays in six different cities across North America before you can buy it in stores. You can find all the details on nintendo.com slash switch. But you'll have to show up early. There's no shortage of players who can't wait to test drive our new system. And the reasons are now clear. First, the wider look we've just seen at what this revolutionary form of gaming and new ways to play are all about. Second, those amazing controllers, the Joy-Con which combine all the gameplay innovations Nintendo's invented and then adds to them. But of course, the biggest buzz is reserved for the games. And man, what games? No question, there's a lot in the works. But let's be honest. 
One thing is missing. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it. Floating in the air. Yep, there it is. The soundtrack for what's been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, where is it? Well, it'll be here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. But I see some sneaky Nintendo employees have been playing during this presentation. So let's go over there and see what these guys have to say for themselves. Mr. Miyamoto. Ah, hi, Lisa. You're here early. You're playing the new Legend of Zelda game. How do you like it? Good. Oh, that's great. Almost sure. Well, so many eager fans want to know the one critical question. When are we launching The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Mr. Ayanuma, you're the producer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know everything about the game. Certainly, you must know, when are we launching the game? Well, I guess that settles it. There's nothing left for me to do but to throw it back to Tokyo. And Mr. Kimishima, do you have the answer to that question? Shibata-san, Reggie-san, Miyamoto-san, and Aonuma-san, thank you very much. You've left me with a very important task, but I'll have to come back to your question in a second. The Nintendo Switch launch is just around the corner on March 3rd. Tomorrow and the next day, we'll hold a Nintendo <gasps> Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. And we'll begin taking pre-order reservations at retail in Japan starting January 21st. I hope that we've shown enough to earn your support. Now, we do have one last thing to share with you today. Before we do, I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. Oh, 
Why is she dressed like me? Wow. A lot happened. A lot of good. Still a lot of questionable stuff, but the switch, the console itself. I want it. I want it in my hands. I want to buy it. I don't know when they're going to have pre-orders because they said something about January 21st, which is kind of good because I don't think I'll be able to go tomorrow to get it so if it's not available yet then that gives me a chance to go pre-order um fuck uh xenoblade no more heroes shimogami tensei 5 zelda looked amazing um all of the the Joy-Con games and and uh, features look interesting. I'll definitely try them out. I know that they'll be fun, like with friends and things like that. Um, a lot of little interesting games. I didn't see like the big third-party games that I was looking for, like For Honor, or Dark Souls, and things like that. But what Nintendo talked about and offered it has me excited, and I. Uh, I'm in. I'm ready. Just let me buy it. <laughs> wow. Wow. The Mario game looks great. I'm not even really into Mario, but that looked awesome. I can't wait to play it. I'm definitely going to get it. Splatoon 2. I didn't play the first one, but this is looks like the perfect time to play it. Wow. 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 Oh man. I can't wait. I don't know. I'm gonna try to sleep and process this now. So thank you for watching, chilling with me for the hour. I know it's been all over the place with me, like super excited or like super quiet, but it was a good presentation. Sorry about the echo stuff. I couldn't get YouTube on my laptop to catch up to the stream. I don't know, it was always a few seconds behind. Zelda looks amazing. Wow. I'm in love. I am in love. <laughs> Still no pre orders.
Let me buy it, Nintendo. Alright, I'm going to stop this stream now. Thank you for watching. I'm tired now. Good night.